the realm of Midland. Life really sucks all around. Demons run rampant, villages get pillages, and a helpless elf fairy has become target practice for some thugs. Batter up! Until walking into the torment comes a stranger clad in black, cleaving through anyone in his way with one humongous sword. Whiz, that weapon is too big to be called a sword, too massive and thick, more like a slab of raw iron that no normal man could wield. Except for the man with a simple but fitting name. Guts. But what is it that makes Guts so terrifying? Well, we're about to get into some really, really dark shit. Fair warning. Born from his mother's recently hanged corpse, Guts was taken in by a mercenary band led by Gambino. Who definitely isn't winning father of the year. Gambino put Guts through the ringer, training him with swords way too big for him before putting him into live combat at only nine years old. Training with such large swords made Guts inhumanly strong, but he needed a different kind of strength to endure the horrendous abuse he suffered from Gambino. So he murdered the bastard in self-defense. He deserved it, trust me, with no home or family to speak of, Guts aimlessly wandered for years as a lone mercenary. Until he caught the eye of the ambitious Griffith. Impressed by Guts's bold battle prowess and blunt honesty, Griffith wanted him. So Guts joined his mercenary group, the Band of the Hawk. Where Guts' gutsy fighting style made him the perfect captain. The dude was hardcore enough to fight 100 enemy soldiers on his own, and even helped end a 100-year-long war, all while earning respect and glory with Griffith and his group. For the first time, Guts found true friends and comrades to rely on. But when Griffith realized he couldn't keep Guts at his side, uh... Really, really bad things happened. Upon the eclipse, Griffith summoned a bunch of demons, became a super demon himself, and sacrificed Guts' new friends to the abyss. If that wasn't bad enough, he marked Guts with a demonic brand, then raped his girlfriend Casca, forcing Guts to watch as his eye was split open and he was forced to tear off his own arm. Yeah, really bad things. Guts barely escaped with his life. He vowed to brutally murder Griffith and every demon down to the last one. No small task, even for him. But he totally did it. He killed all the demons and lived happily ever after with Casca. The end. Boomstick, what, what are you talking about? We have so much more to cover. This is the only way I can give him a happy ending. Just roll with me. Wow. Okay, I mean, that was clearly a lot, so how about we take a break and come back for Guts' opponent, Fire Emblem's Dimitri. I'm sure he can't be nearly as depressing as that. Oh, no.